Hey guys, it's Jamie here, my indicator, the binary destroyer. Uh, I'd like to apologize for not doing any videos recently. Uh, these past two weeks have been pretty crazy. Uh, I've just got back from traveling around Spain for five days and then I came back and I had the worst wisdom tooth pain. Like it's just unbelievable if you've ever had tooth pain. So I've been offline sort of on and off for the past week. Mike Vert who helps out has just had a baby so he's also in and out of the office and the markets you know and Chris Yates who does all our programming and all our servers and VPS systems has also been offline just spending more time with family so it's literally just been me uh, soldiering on with my painful wisdom tooth um, but yeah, a lot has been going on in the Destroyer family. Uh, what you will see when I'm making a lot of these videos at the minute, you will see this EA running in the background, okay? Because we're currently testing it. Uh, we're currently testing it on five VPSs, 24, uh, I would say 24 seven, but the market's closed at the weekends. So basically every time the market's open, this is running on a VPS. Uh, and we're testing it okay so we're running on five VPSs myself and Mike Ver have got it running on our computers as well and we're just getting a feel at how it works uh, today I had it running for I've had it running for the past 24 hours and as you can see a uh, 300 pound deposit and a 360 what well, it's made 64 pound in the past 24 hours okay and if you actually look okay it's not actually made any losses whatsoever see here absolutely none so at the minute it's going pretty well this isn't the finished product uh we will be adjusting it some of these trades i had to close early uh, just purely because obviously uh i set my take profit at nine pips but because i'm scalping it i want to just lower it down to five pips you know uh, currently got it's currently put a load of trades on as well uh, you can see here um, you can see here what if I zoom in you can see it took a trade there because it's well basically you can see RSI is over bought stochastics over bought the CCI is over bought and obviously the price is clearly broken the sell zone so it's a couple of took a couple of trades on there what's the currency pairs that USD CAD so yeah you can see USD CAD trade there is currently 28p in profit um, um, so you can see it slowly dropping down there but yeah what I wanted to do is do some live trading okay I haven't done that in a while okay I finally managed to set up a uh, demo account with uh, high and low uh, it's just their free one okay because I haven't really been doing much trading myself personally I did a couple of trades this week on binary, but uh, I've just been in and out, you know, of the office and on the markets as well. Just been really flat out working towards our 2018 plans. And um, one thing that I haven't showed you is our we now have. Let me load it up. We now have the binary destroyer on C Trader. So let me just load that up for you now and it's absolutely fantastic okay we're slowly branching out okay because a lot of traders ask me have you got you know ha have you got the binary short on c trader and i've always gone no it's always mt4 based and they've gone we don't like mt4 it's too old and it lags a bit okay so now we've got a fresh new look on c trader okay so you've got the option of c trader or mt4 now uh, it's absolutely fantastic okay because it's expanding us we're show, showing you guys that we're serious about trading um off the record i don't use c trader i've managed to use it on c trader but i don't know nothing about how to use the platform itself so i can show you it in action but uh, as for trading off c trader don't ask me um we've currently got a couple of guys in the group that are testing it for me but i can't actually uh, at the minute i don't really know how to use this platform but you can see here look absolutely fantastic um when it loads up so you can see i mean i'm what's this on the one minute time frame let's have a look at 
look at all these options what's it like on the one hour but you can see here just giving me alert now on USD down signal euro USD binary destroy alerts okay that's that's good as well because when we're programming this for C Trader the programmer said you can't do alerts because the C Trader doesn't have an alert function so he's had to program it in uh, to give you an alert but you can see that nice signal here price is literally rejected straight off that sell zone okay and you can see here all the trends but it's good uh, again personally I'm going to be sticking to MT4 so let's try and do a couple of quick trades um, I'm just going to load up let's load up Euro USD and we'll try and jump in to some trades one minute chart and we'll load up I'll get close that down now right so what's euro USD saying um not a lot that would have been a fantastic signal there look at this one clearly broken the buy and sell zones there oversold on the RSI boof, signals appeared shot up you can see that here look boof. let me see I've got the EA loaded on all these other I mean look at some of the signals the EA has been given here look at that, that orange sig that purple signal up there boof, dropped and a couple of these red blue ones here you can see it where it took profit took a cool trade took profit there then it sold boom, just dropped um, trying to see it's a Friday you see USD chef looks good well let's load let's load up USD CAD let's see what's going on there what I'm going to do is I don't want to keep blabbering on trying to find you a trade. I'm going to pause the video, okay? And I'm going to try and find you a good currency pair with a nice setup. I'll explain why I take the setup and then you can watch it come into the money. So a few minutes and I'll be back. Hi guys, I'm back, okay? And I'm kind of actually really gutted, okay, that I didn't actually do any trading today because look, I just loaded up AUD USD and look at these beautiful signals here, okay? Literally buy and sell zone clearly oversold on the RSI clearly in the sell buy zone signals appeared boof, shoots up winner winner and again here you know the price just shoots up I mean absolutely fantastic don't take trades when the price is in the middle it's classed as no man's land so you can see uh, most of these well that one would have let me see if this one that one would have been a loss but clearly you want to be taking trades when the price is in the buy and sell zones like here this would be a good setup because we can see here okay price is overbought for zoom in price is overbought on the RSI uh, it's clearly broken the sell zone so let's try and jump into What's this? Uh, do I have this option? See, I've never used this platform as well, um, but StockPair don't have a demo account, so I can't show you. Um, I can't show you like actually trading off my live account because I, because StockPair don't have a demo account, so I've had to use high and low. Um, USD cat. Well, was it AUD? AUD it was. AUD USD. Right, we've got it. AUD. 15 minute trade, okay? Now, what I'm looking for now is a nice signal arrow to appear here and then. I'm in there okay you can see here you know just by using because when you buy the binary show it comes with support and training okay and what's good about obviously support and training is I like I love doing 
I love you know teaching people skills on how to trade because it's just using a bit of basic common sense we can see here okay when my we can see a nice little support uh, resistance area here can you see that how we had resistance area signal our pairs drops and then literally we're in that same resistance area here big massive in gold look there we go there's another red candle here so this is good okay and um, you know RSI is overbought so now what I'm waiting for is a signal arrow to appear okay and we are laughing let me just zoom out does let me see if I can do a five minute trade turbo here we go I want to see if I can do a five minute trade and a 15 minute trade on AUD USD and we will see which one wins I don't want to take a one minute trade I'm going to take a five minute trade bear me guys sorry I've never used this platform in my life so sorry about that guys my computer froze right so um I'm now waiting for a signal arrow to appear on AUD USD. I mean, look at this. Okay, this is a nice, beautiful setup. Look at this big. If you zoom out, okay, you can see a nice, big resistance area. When my can see here, you see this big, long resistance area all the way across here. Can you see that it's support it's resistance 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 okay now waiting for a signal arrow, okay we can see now we've got a massive spike up okay we haven't got a signal arrow yet okay so we're not ready to enter a trade we have to wait for the free rules rsi overbought the price in the buy and sell zone and the signal arrow to appear now um, at the minute we've got two rules met but we haven't got the signal arrow okay so um USD CAD has just entered the buy zone. We can see this here, and it's just overbought on the uh, oversold on the RSI. So this might be a good trade opportunity as well. Um. So at the minute, okay, uh, nothing's happened. What I'll do is I'll pause the video and then I'll come back in a couple of minutes when just before signal hours appears and then we can jump in and take a trade. Hey, I'm back again. Right, now just looking at AUD USD, okay, we can see it actually broke our support area, our resistance area here. Okay, you can see that. And literally what it's done is it bounced straight off that sell zone. You see how it broke it, then bounced off it, and now it's carry on shooting up, okay, which, is uh, telling me that the price is going to likely carry on going up but I don't know yet uh, it might drop might get a signal hour. if it does I will still enter the trade uh, at the minute USD CAD is in the buy in the buy zone RSI is oversold as well but I've been looking at Euro look Euro USD okay overbought on the RS oversold on the RSI signals appears I'm going to get into this trade uh, I've been watching it, so I am high in. I mean, there we go. Now you'll hear, you'll hear a little notification to tell me when that candle closes that a signal arrow has appeared. There we go. So I'm now in a five-minute trade. Okay, you're going to ask me why I'm in a, am I in a five-minute trade? Okay, because it's against the trend. We can see that by looking at the buy and sell zones, they're facing down. Okay, you can see that it's facing down, which tells me that the price is going down. Okay, but we have a signal arrow, okay, and the price rejected straight off that sell zone there. Okay, you can see that 
straight off it okay so that's why I entered a quick five minute trade okay you're gonna ask why didn't I take that trade okay because it's simple okay we have a free candle rule in the destroyer family which means okay you wait for free candles and then take a trade okay if you look where that signal arrow is it's right in the middle of the buy and sell zones it's, it's in no man's land so you don't want to be taking a trade here if you look at this trade here okay it's still in it's still you know if it's still technically in the sell zone okay one two three our free candle wall it's meeting our wall so that's why I took it if you look at this one the price was in the sell zone there but the signal arrow appeared one two three four five six seven minutes after so that's why I didn't take a trade um but yeah uh, I'm interested to, to assist that sorry about me stuttering my tooth hurt and I'm I'm interested to see so at the minute it's telling me it's in the money I think um or is it out of the money I don't know how long have I, how long have I got start time expiry time so at the minute I think that is out of the money but on MT4 it's in the money so maybe there's something up with their demo accounts I'm not sure we're interested I'm interested interested to see what this happens any of the good setups no USD CAD you see is literally dropped straight off our support line you see our little EMA dropped straight literally bounced off it and it's been bouncing off that EMA for a while so a signal has not appeared there AUD is just shot up uh, okay your USD you can see now it's rising from that signal arrow so at the minute we are in the money one two three two minutes ago what's it saying on here oh we're in the money we're in the money which is good I like how it says start time and expiry time and it gives you exactly the second as well that's pretty nifty so you see how the price is rising this is going to be a nice one I always recommend if you're going to trade against the market against the trend always take a, a maximum 15 minutes 5 or 15 minute trades okay anything longer you'll probably lose it but my argument is why would you want to trade against the market anyway you know it's like trying to fight a wave or the wind you know you want to fight you want to be trading with the market but we can see here look beautiful trade absolutely beautiful straight away from that signal arrow but now you can see how it's being pushed down because we're going against the trend okay so even though oh it's raised again even though okay it's shooting up from that signal arrow we are going against the trend so I think personally the price is going to um, let me draw my little support line I think the market is going to resist about there because you can see here from the last previous price shot up and then it dropped again so I think the same is going to happen but we are in the money okay it doesn't tell me what price I got in oh it does tell me what price 11784 so we're good we can see that's actually a really nice deep win so one two three four five this should be a winner I should be in the money now this should be closed what's the time now 1660 see as it says it's expiry 1660 but I don't know if you can see my my computer but my computer says 1617 so um uh whoever won that maybe that's in the money maybe that's closed oh it has status closed haha <laughs> my mistake so yeah we can see that there is a winner 
okay and just go into it now can you see how now it's starting to go against uh, it's starting to go down again because you can see from the fine sell zones it's going down so yeah I'm going to leave that here there um, uh, I'm just going to leave that there uh, I'm going to do another video on Monday just talking about the results in the VIP group uh, and that sort of stuff and our trader of the week because uh, we've had a lot of new members in the group and the fantastic one guy smashed 5 nil today so yeah I'm going to leave that there um, if you have any questions, drop me an email at thebinaryshopman.gmail.com. Thank you.